In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus Zn. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see I have a sulfate ion here and here. Those are balanced. Zinc, zinc, and then H2, H2. This equation is already balanced. So we've got our balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. H2SO4 is a strong acid. It's a strong electrolyte. It'll dissociate in water and it's going to be aqueous. Zinc, that's a metal. Zinc sulfate, if you look this up on a solubility chart or you remember your solubility rules, zinc sulfate, that's actually going to be aqueous. It'll also dissolve split part into its ions. Hydrogen, H2, hydrogen gas. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes part into their ions to give us the complete ionic equation. So we said H2SO4 is a strong electrolyte. Hydrogen's in group one, so it has one plus ions. And then this whole sulfate ion, SO4, is always two minus. Good one to remember. Two hydrogen ions. And I won't write the states after each one right now. Let's do that at the end. And then we have one sulfate ion. Then the zinc, that's just the zinc. So we put Zn there. Those are the reactants. For the products, zinc is a transition metal, but it's always two plus. And the sulfate we said is two minus. So we have Zn two plus, let's put a little cross there so we know it's a Z, plus the sulfate ion, SO4 two minus, and then hydrogen, it's a gas, we don't split gases up in net ionic equations. So this here, this is considered our complete ionic equation, also called a total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. In effect, they haven't really changed, so we're not interested in them. The only thing I see it's the same here in the reactants and the products is this sulfate ion. So I'm going to cross that out. But everything else is unique, and that gives us our net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus Zn. Let me clean this up and add the states in. Then we'll have our net ionic equation for sulfuric acid plus zinc. And this is the net ionic equation for H2SO4 plus Zn. We have two hydrogens on each side. We have a zinc. And our charge is also conserved. We have two plus here, two positive charge, two positive charge here. So everything's conserved. Balanced net ionic equation. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.